Material selection is a fundamental part of material science. From the point of view of product design, the aim is to select the most suitable material based on a variety of factors, such as cost, performance, lifespan, corrosion and wear resistance. Using the example of a car, many different materials have been carefully selected to perform different functions. The windscreen is made from laminated safety glass. This is two sheets of glass held together by a polymer. This has been chosen so that you can properly see and adds protection from airborne objects. So, in the event of a crash, this material's design holds the glass together after shattering, preventing it from breaking into large, sharp pieces. The material tyres are made from needs to protect the rest of the wheel from wearing down, absorb shock as well as providing a good grip of the road surface. For these reasons, rubber is chosen as it is a very versatile, cheap and durable material. A tyre is more than just rubber, in fact it is made of a combination of different materials working together. For example, underneath the layer of rubber, steel belts are used as reinforcements and offer puncture resistance. Like a tyre, the car's body is made from many materials and panels. Material selection plays an important role on determining the material a car body will be made from. Performance cars, where cost is not an issue, the car body is mainly made from carbon fibre, whereas a more budget-driven car is mainly steel or aluminium. Aluminium is lighter but more expensive, whereas steel is cheaper but heavier. Manufacturers make this decision based on the cost and target audience for the car. Material selection is not just about the strength and toughness of the material. How easy a material is to make, as well as aesthetics, also play a role. For example, plastics are not only lightweight, but easy to form, allowing designers to be creative. Hence, plastics are used for dashboards and handles. Equally as aesthetic, a choice is made between leathers and fabric, depending on the budget of the car. With a constantly evolving product, Material science faces many challenges in producing higher performance materials to produce ever faster, safer and more economical cars. To meet these demands, new materials are slowly being introduced into car manufacturing. For example, new titanium alloys are now being used as suspension springs as the material is strong, lightweight, corrosion resistant and can provide a high performance value. Material selection is essentially about choosing the right material for the job. The constraints of different applications will require different combinations of properties, but ultimately some properties are more important than others. If you'd like to learn more about material selection, check out the books by Ashby in the description. If you are interested in studying material science, watch our other video, Studying for a Career in Materials.